Breaking news, the coroner of Kim Porter, the former girlfriend and mother of some of Sean Combs, a.k.a. Diddy's children, Ed Winter, has died. Ed Winter was the initial coroner of Kim Porter, and he had vital information on the cause of death that was contradictory to what the other coroner after him had stated. Ed Winter did not say the cause of death was pneumonia. He found other evidence that showed possible foul play and that he deemed it the results problematic problematic. That means that there's something there that proves that it was not natural causes or she was just ill with pneumonia. It was something in her system, a chemical of some sort, that shows that it was induced. His findings were filed as pending until further investigation. He was taken off the case and then a new coroner came in and gave a very different result. Who took him off the case? Why? That seems very odd that his findings were not pursued by the FBI. After his findings, he was shut down. Then they brought in another coroner who simply stated it was due to pneumonia. Pneumonia. Really? It seems so odd that when his coroner report was coming back to light, he passes away. <laughs> Something's not right here. Remember when Al Sure, after finding out Kim had passed away, posted comments on the social media saying it was BS that she had died from pneumonia? He was adamant about saying she looked healthy and did not seem ill at all a week or so before the death. Al had also said she was smiling and taking pictures and seemed perfectly fine. Here are some comments on Al Bishur's social media showing that he believes Diddy has something to do with it. Then after Al posted those comments on social media, he felt like he was in trouble. And then his health started to decline. And then eventually Al ends up in the hospital in a coma for two months. And the doctors blamed it, oh, he had renal failure, but they're not sure why or what caused his renal failure. The doctor said maybe it's because he's overweight, but that was it. And then also Al said that Kim had called him and told him that she felt like she was being followed and somebody was after her and that she was very scared. Now, after all the rumors started swirling around about Kim Porter being murdered, Ed Winter's results of his autopsy came back into question because, again, he said it was problematic and they needed further analysis, and then he was taken off the case. And then all of a sudden, now that they want that information back, he ends up dead by natural causes. It seems like too much of a coincidence. The timing is too close for it to be a coincidence? Hmm. Was Kim Porter's death due to pneumonia by way of natural causes or was she taken out by someone who wanted to silence her? Was it that she knew too much and she was gonna write a tell-all book that would expose not only P. Diddy, AKA Sean Combs, but other people that were connected to him and that would ruin their livelihoods, possibly? If the cases reopen, they could very well be able to pull those coroner reports from the very first coroner, Ed Winters, and reopen them and possibly find out what really happened because, again, it seems odd that she's perfectly fine one day and then now she has pneumonia and dies the next day. It's just very strange. And so they have to really find out what really happened because people are asking questions. There's a lot of rumors swirling around this. So only time will tell. Stay tuned.